Sagittarius, welcome to you. This is your December tarot reading. It is coming from the mountains of Java, I'm happy to say. I'm back home. I'm, I'm where I feel comfortable. After months, well, probably a year of being messed around, not knowing where I'm going to be. But this is about you. I hope you get something useful from this, Sagittarius. I really do. Sagittarius, as I say, many of the readings for December seem to be dominated by world events. I think yours is entirely personal. I can see money being a part of it, but I can also see love being a part of it. Now the overall energy, that's the middle card there, that's the Knight of Pentacles. That's you determined, somebody who gets a job done. But maybe things are moving very slowly, maybe too slowly for you. In your recent past, we have the Eight of Swords. That's you putting up boundaries. You're restricting yourself from doing things. Your current energy is the Four of Pentacles. Unhealthy attitude towards money, maybe somewhat miserly attitude. Gosh, is it about world events? Because if I think holding on to your money at the moment is no bad strategy. Could be. Uh, we now have the Seven of Wands, which is in the future. That's you scoring some victories and getting some public recognition for it. The card that impacts on the outcome is the Temperance card. That's taking the middle ground, that's seeing the other's point of view. What would prevent the outcome is the Three of Swords, which is a broken heart. Hmm. And the outcome is the Two of Cups, which does suggest to me a new love. Or if it's not a new love, it's... it's Finding, finding, finding love. Maybe with someone you know. Hmm. Yeah, so I think this is about love. That's my candid feeling. Now, if this is resonating, if I can get... Uh, well, I, I'm going to unpack it, so please keep listening. But if it's resonating, if you can like it, make a comment... But also if I can ask you to subscribe and hit the bell, therefore you'll get future notifications. Because it helps me immensely. And in anticipation of that Sagittarius, I, I want to thank you most profusely. You may well be asking, why from Java? What's important about tarot from Java? And the truth is, there is nothing so important about tarot from Java, simply that here in Java we have many different spirits who will come to help in, in your tarot reading. It'll probably put a different reflection on things. For example, the spirits here are less likely to be concerned about love and finances, despite people in Java being every bit as interested in these things as the rest of us. But maybe the spirits are trying to tell us something else. Now I'll be using probably two decks, but out of three decks. So the first deck is Taro Nusantara. The second deck is the Steampunk deck. And the third deck is the Light Visions Taro. Um, Taro Nusantara is actually a new one to me, which, which I love. Whereas the Light Visions, um, I've struggled with as a result of the rendering. Um, although I, I think I'll grow into it, I, I will keep using it and coming back to it. You can see on all of them, I'm using quite a lot of uh, salt. And that's to clear the energy and the spirits from them. Something that I do fairly regularly with my tarot. And I also, you'll see a number of gym app there that I use um, just to bring a good energy to the tarot um, and to my reading. 
Perhaps the most important mystical object we use in Java is the kris, the curly knife that you can see that I've placed across both decks. Kris are very important for bringing the spirits to work on any object here in Java. And I call on the spirits of the mountain to assist me in shuffling the cards, in selecting the cards and interpret them correctly for Sagittarius for December 2022. So the energy running throughout this entire reading is that of the Knight of Pentacles. He's determined, he's dependable, he, he will get the job done. But I think the thing that they're wanting us to... Oh, sorry, I've no idea. But I think the energy that I should read into this right now is he's very slow. And I think perhaps you're frustrated with slow progress. You look at him. The horse is almost like a cart horse, isn't it? It doesn't seem to be moving at all. The landscape is dry and parched, so it's, it's probably a little bit difficult. And I think those are the things that run through it. You're finding life a little bit difficult. Um, you're frustrated that what you want to do is happening rather slowly. Um, and that sort of dominates everything else. In your recent past, we have the Eight of Swords. That's about self-imposed restrictions. You're restrict, or you were at least restricting yourself from doing things. I don't know why, but I mean clearly it's quite a psychological thing. You look at the card. Well, she's tied up. She's blindfolded. She's got those swords behind her, so she can't move. Uh, blindfolded as well. Probably can't. Now I don't know if the the sea is coming in or going out, but neither does she because she's blindfolded but she could remove those restrictions and if she turned around she'd see that beautiful village on that cliff up above her now I don't know how easy it would be to get well, undoubtedly it wouldn't be easy to get to the village but she hasn't got a clue if she's blindfolded and tied herself up and that's the point there's something psychological here that's restricting you from doing what you ought to be doing. Current energy is that the Four of Pentacles. Now we've been getting quite a lot of these in December. Uh, this is an unhealthy attachment towards money, perhaps acting even miserly. So is that the restriction? Is that the restriction that you're being miserly with money. I, I, do you know, we're in such uncertain economic times. I, I, is that a bad reaction at the moment? Maybe not. I mean, you look at him, he's definitely miserly, isn't he? He's holding on to the money. He's even got those pentacles below, below his feet. But as I say, maybe this is the time to be holding on to our money. There's austerity throughout the world, you know. There's an attack on our savings. We might need money for a rainy day. So maybe it'll be a little bit miserly isn't a bad thing. Maybe. Now another card we've been getting quite a lot of in December is the Six of Wands, which is you scoring some victories and public recognition for those victories. In fact, it's often coming in this place for other signs. It's quite strange, you know. Now, I don't know what you're scoring the victories over, but you you are scoring victories. Do you overcome those self-restrictions? Remember the whole things about moving slowly. Do you, do, you, do you eventually achieve what you thought you were going to achieve? You look at the card, I mean, they, they've clearly scored a victory. Now, it's a victory. It's not the end of the war, but it's a victory. And they're going through the streets, parading. There's no indication on this card that anybody is jealous of it. But I'm always mindful that there could be some jealousy. But there's no indication of that. No. it's. I mean, it's a nice card to have here. Very nice.
And I have to say, we've also had quite a few temperance cards. Now, the temperance card impacts on the outcome. And the temperance card, is it about you taking the middle ground, seeing other people's point of view? I mean, it could literally about te be temperance. It could be about you leading a more temperate lifestyle. But there's nothing really in this to suggest that you don't, at least not so far. No, I think it's more about taking the middle ground, seeing the other point of view. I mean, if you look at the card, I mean, it does seem to be about temperance, doesn't it? Not drinking, having a more pure, honest, if you like, lifestyle, taking the high road rather than the easy road. Yeah, it looks to be about that. Not sure what all this is about, though. Now, the first sort of card or energy that I can sort of get my teeth into is this Three of Swords, because this is the card of a broken heart. So, does it explain anything? I'm not, I'm not sure if it does. Well, self-restrictions. So, were you restricting yourself over a broken heart? An healthy attitude towards money. Did they, did they take some of your money? I don't know, but it's a broken heart. It's it's a, it's not a it's not a happy sign. Now it doesn't necessarily happen, and this would change the outcome. So it might even be sort of, if you don't submit to a broken heart, then the outcome doesn't change. So, you know, it, it's something that you might be in control of. Also, what I'd say to you is it's normally something that doesn't last. Now, it's very easy for me to say that. I was somebody who had his heart broken. At, I suppose I was about 23. And I certainly carried it with me till I was about 53, I'd say. So, you know, I've had a broken heart for 30 years. So it's easy to me, for me to say broken hearts don't last. But normally this card, it doesn't last. It doesn't. Ah, maybe things are beginning to make sense now. Yes, I think you have had your heart broken in the past. That's caused you to put up boundaries. It's caused you to be a little bit mean. You probably are out there looking for love and you have small victories but you're actually putting up boundaries towards them and that's why things are moving slowly but the outcome i think you do find love and it's a love whereby you really click um the word soulmate is is overused but it is like a soulmate if not a soulmate it's somebody that you know you, you just seem comfortable with that things seem right it feels divine and you look at the card well it is divine because that's the, there's an angel above their heads and they both got the cups of love you know they're both dressed rather nicely aren't they so this reading is about love and i believe you do find it but you mustn't let this heartbreak which i believe is from the past dominate your thinking let's get some clarity on the heartbreak though So yeah, I, I seek clarity on this Three of Swords, the Broken Heart card. What's the clarity I get? Well, the first one is the Page of Cups. So I think it is about you going seeking love. The second is the Tower. So this is a relationship that broke down. And the final card, is that a King or a Knight? Um, ah, it, it's a King. But it's a King of Swords. I was thinking it was the King of Cups. It's a King of Swords. Um, brave, fearless, maybe a little bit too fast acting. But it could be. It could be. Sorry, I've just described a knight there. No, this is somebody who, who, who understands things. I think that this broken heart, this ending of a relationship 
was sent so that you'd understand something about yourself and about life. Maybe there was an incompatibility between you and this other person. And it was sent to show you that. And I think you have learnt it. So if only you can be like this king and mature about things, things will be better. Let's look at each individually though. Ah, I'm sorry. When I introduced this card, I said it was the Page of Cups going out looking for love. And it's not. It's the Knight of Cups that I initially thought the King of Swords was. So sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, this is the, this is the Knight of Cups. So this is the Fool for Love card. So you have been a little bit of a Fool for Love. You've worn your heart on your sleeve. I mean, look, the knight is a lovely, lovely card. A lovely, lovely person. In fact, he's so lovely, people throw themselves at him. And he is a little bit prone to having relationships on the side. And I don't think he's malicious. He just can't say no. Um, now, I'm not necessarily saying that's what happened with you. I think, no, you, you get exploited because of you wear your heart on your sleeve. You look at that knight, isn't she lovely, eh? Isn't she lovely? That cup in her hand, she's got that walking stick with her. And those breeches she's wearing, it does look like it, doesn't it? You'd, you'd want to go off hiking with her, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Lovely, but vulnerable. Vulnerable. And I think you have been vulnerable. Well, at least I got this energy right, well, card right when I saw it. Tower, there's no mistaking, is it? And, and this just means that the relationship came to an end. It was probably sudden, it was probably abrupt, it was probably unexpected. Not least because, as I say, I think you're a fool for love. And when it happens, all you can do is rebuild your life. And I think this is a warning that that's what you need to do, not remain heartbroken it's as simple as that if you don't remain heartbroken if you don't put up these barriers you will find a new love and, and that's all it's trying to tell us yeah you just need to rebuild your life not focusing on what has happened in the past so the final card of clarity is the king of swords very wise king learnt a lot you look at him, he looks smug almost, doesn't he? But you'd, you'd go to him, wouldn't you? You'd go to him and say, hey, what's happening here, you know? How do you explain this? He's seen it all before, you know? So this is you. You're meant to have learnt a lesson. You've meant to have learnt a lesson not to be this fool for love. And to move on. And, and, and I think you do. I think you do. Uh, but let's tell you a little, well, a few stories about me. My mother's just died. And um, everybody wanted me to see my mother to sort of have a heart to heart with her before she died and sort of tell each other that we love each other. And I mean, I told my mum I loved her, but she didn't tell me she loved me. And you see, what I realised through going to see my mother was that she was a covert narcissist. Now, I always thought she was, but in going to see her for the last time, Allah put before me a set of circumstances which left me in no uncertain, no degree of uncertainty. She was indeed a narcissist, or a covert narcissist. And you see, what she'd done all my life, every time I'd brought a, a, a girl back to visit the house, um, was she went about sabotaging our relationship. Either that was by her having a go at the girl, trying to get them to lose their temper. Or if that didn't work, on the third day she'd get me to lose my temper and make me look stupid in front of the girl. And, you know, my wife, my wife Maddy now, when, when she went there, she did exactly the same to Maddy, saying, oh, you, you don't peg the washing out like that, you don't wash the dishes like that, you don't do this, you don't do that. And when it didn't work, she, she turned her attention on me and got me to lose my temper. And then her and my father took Maddie to one side and went about bad-mouthing me, saying I'd got a quick temper, etc. 
And, of course, Maddy's not English. Um, her English is good, but not perfect. She was already married to me, and as far as she was concerned, her allegiance was towards me, so she didn't even want to listen. Why have I told you that? It's about the maturity. It's all well and good me saying these things are sent so that we can learn from them. But, you know, I'm 64 now. And I've probably only known that my mum's a... Well, I, I didn't know the term, but I've only known that my mum's a covert narcissism since I was eight. So you can really say that it's been 56 years me really understanding this and beginning to lead my life in this new understanding. So it's very glib of me to say, get over this broken heart. You know, and, and my broken heart was due to my mum putting off somebody that I was very close to. You know, she, she had she had her misgivings about marrying into a family that was like ours. And, you know, it's been with me my entire life. So I'm not being glib in saying get over it, but you do need to. You do need to. I think we can summarise for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, December is all about love. And the reason it's all about love is that a past love um, broke your heart. It ended, it ended abruptly, you weren't expecting it. And the reason why it really happened is you're a bit of a fool for love. You wear your heart on your sleeve, you get exploited by people. And I think you do eventually understand that, but it takes some time. Your immediate reaction to what has happened is to put up barriers, to put up barriers to falling in love again, despite you thinking that you're looking for love, but it's going slowly. I think it also makes you a little bit miserly, and I think the reason is that, you know, maybe it's left you with not as much money. You're, you're being careful with money, that's for sure. As I say, it's going slowly. It's going slowly, but you are going to score some victories. You are going to score some victories. You are going to find people. And what you need to do is you need to be perhaps a little bit less discerning in terms of who you want, or at least to reduce those barriers that you've put up. Um, when I say a little less discerning, you know, I ended up married to someone from the other side of the world. Um, somebody that has good English, but not perfect English. Somebody that had a different religion to mine, although I've converted to, to Islam. So someone who on paper wasn't a good match for me. But, you know, these things are made in heaven, not in, you know, not on a spreadsheet. So, you know, maybe you need to change slightly what you're looking for. And I think the reason why you have these sort of somewhat fixed ideas and it's moving slowly is you're still getting over this heartbreak. Uh, but in order to find what you want, you, you do have to get over the heartbreak. You really do. Um, and if you can do that, you are going to find somebody. And... To use the word soulmate, soulmate is, is used a little bit too often, but they're going to feel so good. It's going to feel so right. It is the person for you. So it is all's well that earns well, Sagittarius. It really is. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed Tarot from Java as an addition to my channel, The Magic of Java. Please take a look at the other the other uh, videos that I have on this channel about magic from Java. And I hope that you will be become a subscriber. Now, if you want to find hear your next tarot reading, hit the button and that will inform you of when I publish new um, new readings. I'm certainly going to do a reading for every month, but maybe I will try them a bit more frequently, say a mid-month reading, and maybe also some special readings. But above all, thank you so much for listening to me.
thank you and enjoy Java. <laughs>